Hey guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. Um, sorry, I wasn't able to announce the uh, the winners of the the Castle Art hundred and twenty set yesterday, which was yesterday was the tenth. Unfortunately, I just wasn't able to do it. Um, <clears throat> so I've I've got myself a coffee. I've sat down all morning. I've been watching pastel videos and I've been reading the book that um, I'm going to be doing a review of very soon. I've already read it once, but I just wanted to go over it again, and uh, I love it so much. But um, So I'm getting around to doing the uh, announcing the winner of this uh, fantastic set of 120 Castle Art coloured pencils. Um, one of the things, before I get there to um, obviously announcing the winner, I just want to say uh, just a couple of things before I get to it so I'm going to kind of like t play it out a little bit tease a little bit um, I get a lot of comments from people saying that one of the one of the things they really like about the the channel is that uh, I, I review uh, a wide range of products not just the high-end products like the luminance and um, the light fast from Durham and things like that I review the the cheaper pencils, the, some of the cheapest pencils, mid range pencils, all, all manner of different pencils, or or pastels, or whatever whatever the case may be. Um, and the reason why I do that is, I want the the art gear guide to be a catalog that any artist can go to, regardless of your abilities or your or your you know your what medium you're into uh, and, and have a look at some of the products that you might be interested in and just try and get a better understanding of that particular product before you go whether it's whether it's the most expensive product out there or the least expensive and also as well I have to keep in mind that sometimes people who are new to colored pencils and what have you wanting to try and get into it don't don't necessarily want to go out and spend a couple of hundred pounds on a 76 set box of pencils. And so they want to be able to get a, a, a cheap set of pencils that are still going to be able to provide them with the ability to create some beautiful art. Uh, and so that's what one of my aims of the Art Gear Guide is to, to be able to accomplish and to achieve and to be able to uh, put out there for anybody coming to the, the channel or the um, website to find out information on certain products. So, I mean, like, there's there's so many more products that I still have to review. I've got so many different products under my desk here that I, I've got to get around to reviewing. Um, I kind of like pick different products up as I go along and just store them under there for the next type of review. And it's really difficult. You get overwhelmed a little bit by the amount that, that I have and I think to myself right which one have I got to do next and I've, I've got to do this one next and that one next but never never nevertheless it, it's a good kind of headache because uh, I, I love doing these videos and I love getting the feedback from you guys and the interaction that I get the friendships that I've made all those types of things as well and on the, the side of friendships I just want to uh, update both you all you guys on two things that has gone on in, in my life recently a lot of people know about it some people may not know about it uh, the first one is uh, my youngest daughter Amelia now she was bullied for about three years at school and uh, as a result of the bullying she became incredibly depressed um, to the point where she was uh, not wanting to live she was self-harming quite severely um, we got her help immediately, um, therapists, that type of thing. Um, we were able to get some really good therapists, actually, uh, due to donations that were made to us by um, a particular person, which I will always be indebted to. Um, but her situation at the minute is definitely taking a turn for the better. The last seven or eight weeks now I would say maybe six or seven weeks things have been much much better for her she still has her bad days but she's able to cope with them a little bit better than what she was uh, she's back in at school she almost took a year out of school because of the bullying she just couldn't face going into school 
She went in it intermittently within that year, but it was quite a crucial year. Um, and they didn't know whether she was going to be able to set her GCSEs. But in the last six or seven weeks, she's worked so incredibly hard that they are like, yeah, you, you know, she's basically caught back up again. So we're really, really proud of her and we're really happy because there was a period of time there where my wife and I really didn't know what the end outcome for Amelia was going to be. Uh, and so it was really frightening, uh, a really traumatic time in the house for the whole family. Uh, and the other thing is my dad. Now, my dad is, um, he used to be a prison officer in the Mays prison, one of the most dangerous prisons in Europe. Um, it was um, a prison set up for terrorists in Northern Ireland, the IRA, UDA, that type of thing. And he worked there for over 40 years. I think it was 43 years in total. And then he just recently, he retired about, I think it was about five years now, maybe six years, maybe a little bit more. I'm, I'm terrible at timings. Uh, and he, when he retired, he had skin cancer, which was dealt with, like, honestly, it was dealt with within weeks. And he wasn't even in hospital overnight. He went into a clinic during the day. They cut this thing out that was on his face. He went back a couple of weeks and everything was good. And that was it. So it was like done and dusted within weeks. He then had bowel cancer. Not so quick, but it was done. It, it, he had bowel cancer surgery. He now has a um, a bag and stuff like that. But the surgery was relatively successful. When they were in there, they found a nodule, which was also cancerous, and it, but it's very, very small, and it was close to where the bowel was. Now, they had originally said that they were going to do some radiotherapy on it. They couldn't take it out because it was so small, and it was in a really awkward area. Originally, they said they were going to do radiotherapy, but they did. They chose not to do that because apparently there's a blood vessel running over this thing and if radiotherapy hit the blood vessel and burst it, that would cause serious complications. It's quite a major vessel. So they're going to do uh, chemo. But before they did the chemo, the chemo starts on the 20th, the 18th of March, I believe. Um, and today which is the 11th of March, he goes to the hospital to get prepared to start his chemo, which I believe is a, an injection or something, like a, um, a cannular thing in his neck, so that when he goes on the 18th, he, they can just start it immediately. And he does that. Uh, he has the chemo 48 hours every two weeks for six months. That's the plan so far. But they had to check his liver and all these other things and my dad used to drink but he had stopped drinking once he found out he had bowel cancer completely and obviously his liver regenerated and was back to full health but they found a spot on his liver which they weren't 100% sure what it was but a couple of days ago he, they took him into hospital, they took a biopsy of it and they basically burnt this thing out with a laser so that prepared him for the chemo so he's good to go now for the chemo uh, like i say he starts out on the 18th and so we just got to wait and see how things are going to go so anyway guys i just wanted to let you know because i get a lot of people so generously uh asking about him making sure he's okay making sure the family's okay and i can't tell you how much i appreciate that guys i really can't um and i just wanted to be able to address it here in this video so anyway, let's get on with it and let's pick a winner. So as you know, uh, in the past when I've done these videos, um, I, there's a, a piece of software here called YouTube Comment Picker. So what I've got to do is enter the YouTube URL, paste it into here. So we'll go there now because this is the video, the castle art. I think there was 376 comments um, on this video. So there's quite a lot of people that are, have entered into it. Um, so let me just... Uh, when I get, when I say, uh, when I click this, it says get YouTube comments. What it'll do is it filters out any duplicates and stuff like that. And it also filters out any reply comments that I made. So it, there was 376 comments there, but as you'll see in a second, it'll show you 335 unique comments. So all I've got to do now is go down to the bottom here and hit this start button and it will pick a winner. So good luck. 
And um, all I can say is this is a beautiful set of pencils, not the most expensive set of pencils. So it's 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 really good for people just starting out. Uh, 120 colors uh, is a great set to for anybody to start with or to even like a student um, artist or anything like that. So let's hit the start here and let's see who's going to be our winner today. You can see all the names flying around there. Okay, so there, there's the winner there. Steve Ebbage. Sorry if I've pronounced that wrong. Uh, and this is the comment that he left here. Uh, great review as always. So Steve, all you've got to do, mate, is um, contact me via email with your address and I will get this shipped out to you ASAP. Uh, my wife will take it over to the post office and get it shipped out. So as soon as you uh, give me your details, I'll be able to get on with that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I try to give, I try to do giveaways as often as I can. I was trying the other night, and I was putting, um, making new playlists, trying to kind of like make videos easier to find, like breaking them down into things like you know Derwent videos, Karen Dash videos, uh, as well as things like you know uh, watercolor pencil videos, th th that type of thing. Uh, but I did a, I didn't really know what to do with these videos where I. Uh, announce a giveaway and then announce the winner so I just created a playlist for that just to put them in there just to keep it down and I didn't realize how many um, good products that I've I've done over over the years um, like the I think there was a 20 set of Museum Aqua Royale from Karen Dash there was um, a 60 set of Faber-Castell Polychromos and there was um, I think there was a Pablo set as well Karen Dash Pablo um, but I try to do them as often as I can, guys, because I know, because I I know you guys don't need anything back from me. And you just don't want anything. There's never been anybody requesting anything. But I personally feel that I get so much from you guys that I want to try and give back. And I know I give back in the way of the videos, but the, for me personally, that's not really enough. Um, because I feel that I get more back from you guys than what you guys get from the videos. So I try to do the giveaways as often as possible. Um, I will have another giveaway coming up soon in the next few weeks. Um, so stay tuned for that giveaway. It'll be another color uh, color pencil set. And uh, that's, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. And thank you so much for sticking with this video and listening to all the, the rambles at the beginning of it and stuff like that. But I kind of wanted to tease it out a little bit so that you were getting angry with me because... Um, all you wanted to know was the winner. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks very much, and I look forward to seeing you all again next video. Thanks, bye. Yeah.